Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. If you're just starting, stop. Go back to the first episode and start through. This is a serialized series. Um, it has a story arc. You don't want to start in the middle. Trust me, you have no idea what's going on, and I can't possibly tell you what all has happened up to this point. So do that now. You have been warned. All right. Since you did watch the last episode, you know that we just came out of the Humanus uh, Public Club, whatever place, and we're trying to get to our extraction point, and we have more opposition, of course. So that's what we are dealing with at the moment. Um, I really want to get Iger into... A firing position. Is that someone else right there? Crap, it is. I want to get Iger into a firing position. Wait, is there... Is that... No, that's not cover. Put her over here. Um, because we're going to need her. And actually, I want to put Dietrich into a support position that he can see everyone. And this... Okay, there is some cover there. Which I might have put Dietrich there. Might have been a better idea, but that's okay. Uh, can I hit him? No. Hey, I actually hit him. That's not bad. Not amazingly hit him, but you know, did hit him. Great. Um, and we will put you, my friend, this... We'll put you here. There's not really a lot of cover there, but you can't be seen by everybody. Oh, obviously, are, are those the smugglers? I think those are the smugglers that are actually firing, so that's pretty cool. So we've got them on both sides. Really? You went after Dietrich? Well, he's the last one I would think you'd go for. You've got aim accuracy on this guy. Well, that means he's going to go down right away now, doesn't it? Um, pretty much the same. Hit him. He's down. Yay. Actually, can I put you here? First of all, Dietrich, put you over here. And then can you heal yourself on that one? Yes, you can. Go. There you go. Thank you, Sha. Thank you. Who's the guy over here? Did he, he come out already? I don't want to do anything yet right now. Can I hit him? No. Oh, try it again. Uh, hit him once. It's not too bad. Can I hit him from here? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe again. Neutral turn. Right, that would be the smugglers. They're doing their thing with the stuff. Really? From, from over there? That's your, that's your deal? Uh-oh. No, oh, okay, good. Yeah, you, you better put your accuracy up, because you're about to be toast, by the way. Because I'm bringing Iger out at you, and she is not happy. There you go, you're toast. Reload that. Um, I want to put you here. Can I see you from here? I cannot, so let's go ahead and reload. Dietrich, put him over here. Anyone over here still? No? Okay. I'm gonna actually put you over here. I'm gonna actually take you over. i put you over here? No. How about here? Uh, yeah. Put you there. For the time being, Dietrich will put you here. Yep. Getting your ass kicked, aren't you? Our smuggler friends, and then we're going to kill the smugglers. Most likely. Woo, point blank and you missed. You suck. Like, hardcore. Yep. You know what's about to happen? My friend Iger here? She's going to rape you. See that thing she did right there? Yeah. Sucks, doesn't it? Mm, welcome to the party. Are you here. You, my friend, are gonna go... Where do we want you? Here? 
put you here, 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 put you here. What do we got? Dietrich, put Dietrich here. At least we can see now. We got what, one? I can't see him. Let's do a reload. Reload is good. Reload is wise. Oh. That's bad. Mm hmm. You're gonna go. Can you see him? You cannot. His aim accuracy is really freaking high. You can see him, right? Yes. Hit him. Hit him again. Or is that a girl? Can you see him? No. I did not want to do that. Well, that's two. There, it's not helping. That sucked. This missed. How wonderful. Um, where do we want to be here? Put you all the way over here. Good. Kill yourself. Kill yourself for the win. Oh crap. That's bad. Missed. You suck. Oh, you're gonna move closer. That's what we need. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Great. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Okay. You, Dietrich. No, 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 no. Iger, can you see him? Yes, you can. There we go. Oh, this guy. Can you see this guy? You cannot, can you? Can you see this guy? Peach, you can't see anybody, can you? Come this way. There we go. Hey, that's not bad. Pretty good crit there. You need to heal yourself. Let's cool down on that. Not too bad. Alright. I agree. You know what? Let's put you into a reload. Great. You can't see this guy at the moment. How about now? Can you see him now? You know what I would really like? That would be great. I would like, like, um, in the new XCOM, where when you can see people, it actually shows you, like, so that icon over here. That'd be really cool. Very helpful, actually. Come here. Yep. Yeah. Worse. How about no? How about here? No, that is not what I wanted to do in the least, but that's okay, fine. Shooting. Hey, that worked. Is that it? Awesome. Keep Max alive. Is that Maxim we mean? Interesting. Talk to Maxim. Maxim looks up at the sound of your approach. If he's surprised to see you, he doesn't show it. Crazy night, huh? He pulls a flask from his jacket pocket and takes a long swig, then looks you in the eye. I hope that this is worth the trouble. Any luck finding our money in there? Nope, I don't think they ever had it to begin with, but I guarantee you they'll think pretty hard before crossing smugglers again. They paid a right in blood. No money, but there are a few less racists in the world. All in all, I think we can call this one another win. We'll go with this one. He nods. I can live with that. What we got here? Oh, typo. There's a warning label plastered onto the side of this container. Judging by the amount of small print on the label, whatever's being stored in here is extremely bad news. Take a closer look at the label. 
Warning, highly dangerous chemical agent. Do not take internally. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, mouth, and clothing. Increases aggression and reduces impulse control when inhaled. Avoid breathing fumes or vapor. Important, do not proceed unless material safety data sheet has been read and understood. That would be funny if that was the the the, the safety sheet, because then, you know, it's like, so don't proceed unless you've gotten this far to read this warning that you should read this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um, right. Actually, it popped up with this. Thank Christ, that's over with. You okay, Alexander? The young man looks shell-shocked. He clenches his shotgun in trembling hands. He didn't have a shotgun. He had a rifle. <sighs> I'm, yeah, Uncle Dietrich. Yeah, I'm okay. But I, those guys, I knew them. One of them was my bunkmate. I killed him. Couldn't be helped. If you hadn't, he'd have killed you. Believe it. We're going to take you away from here, back to the cruise bazaar. Get you the help that you need. Yeah, okay, Uncle. Okay. I don't mean to break this up, but we need to get moving. Kid, you're with us. The rest of you, pile into that other van. You can continue having your m moment when we get back to Shutton Nest. The U-Bahn ride home feels especially com comforting today. The Berlin chapter of the Humanus Pumpula Club has suffered a terrible blow, and you're the one who dealt it. Volker Stahl's plan to incite a wave of bloody violence across Berlin has been derailed. It isn't often that a Shadowrunner gets to prevent an atrocity on the job. Okay, your PDA rings in the face of your fixer, Paul Amsel, appears on the screen. Jack, I have new information to discuss about the estate. Please come as soon as you can. Alright. We're gonna come talk to Samuel here. Samuel. Hello again, Mindfront. What can I do for you? I've uncovered what Humanus is up to. You'll find the details on this data pad. Rukbar eyes the plans on the data pad, then nods grimly. This fits with Humanus's established pattern of behavior. Horrific and vile. According to this data pad, Humanus compounds all over Berlin have received similar shipments. They're planning to deploy the gas tomorrow morning. He excels sharply, then nods again. I have a feeling that the Flux State will have a thing or two to say about that. Stahl has overstepped his bounds. His hubris will be his undoing. Actually, I was his undoing. Walker Star is no longer among the living. What? What? But we didn't actually kill him. That? That is excellent news. I'm not ashamed to say that I wish the man dead. He deserved whatever you did to him. And now I'm going to see to it that the rest of his twisted organization suffers in the same way that he did. You mark my words. Within the next few hours, the Humanist Public Club is going to take a hammering that will make the Night of Rage look like a peace rally. I owe you a great deal, Jack. We all do. I will wire your payment to the account number that Amsel provided. Pleasure doing business with you. But, we, but wait, but I didn't actually kill him, or is that a... Or is that supposed to be, like, part of the thing? I'm confused. Return the data. Talk to him, right? Talk to Amsel. Raise it, right? Return the data to payphone. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually get to go to the payphone. What? That's not cool. It didn't actually give me that choice. Okay, that's fine. Let's go talk to Paul. All right. Oh wait, where's my dog? What happened to my dog? There's my dog. That's weird, it put him on the team thing. Whatever, all right. Paul, talk to Paul. Jack, welcome back. I have news for you. In your absence, I've been looking into the Hartfield Manor. Whatever Schwarzschwing is up to, it is both large scale and well funded. I've uncovered money trail leading from holding companies all over the world to an offshore fund with a dummy address. From there, all of that freshly laundered money flows directly into the Harfield estate. Wait a second. Why would the dragon have investors? That doesn't make sense. That isn't good. How much money are we talking about? It's doubtful that the Firewings pawns even know where their money is going. This is typical draconic plots. Uncover a stream of money flowing behind the scenes, and there's a fair chance that you'll find a dragon at the receiving end of it. To a dragon, conspiracy is second nature. But Farswing was different. She didn't scheme or plot. She acted. Alright, so 
The dragon has money. This isn't exactly new information. The Harful men are ro reeked of wealth. She acted. Yes, and look at where it got her. When the Firewing launched her attack on humanity, it was an act of hubris. She lashed out because she didn't consider our species to be a threat. It would be equally hubristic for us to assume that she will make the same mistake twice. I will continue digging into this while you and the team tackle your next run. With luck, I will have more information to share upon your return. Sounds good, Paul. One last thing, check. Millette was able to restore the readable surface of one of Green Winter's DVDs. If you'd like to take a look, you'll find it sitting beside the player. Just one of them? She's still working on the others. Many of them are extensively damaged, and getting anything off of them is proving to be quite a chore. She has told me that she'll be in touch if and when she makes any headway. Thanks, Paul. Well, let's look. The media tray the DVD player slides out of its battered plastic case. Well, the DVD label will watch me. A soft whirring sound fills the air as the ancient DVD player spins the disc up to speed. The scratched LCD display comes to life and a menu fills the screen. Play track one. The screen goes black. Cheerful digital chiming sound spills out of the display speakers. A crackle of static fills the air, coupled with a shrill electronic whine. After a few moments, the display goes live and a disheveled looking man appears on the screen. His eyes glitter with excitement. The timestamp on the screen is 20340915. Now, is this the same disc we watched? few episodes back? Hermie, I think we found her. After all this time fostering, I knew that she wasn't dead. Uh, you know, this is the same one. Wait, this is the same one. Hold on. Eject the DVD. Is it the second one? The soft world is spinning to be punctuated. Blah, 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 blah. Play track one. Screen goes black for a moment, then Green Winters appears on the screen. The timestamp of the video reads 2054-1111. All right, as I said in my last recording, I've been having trouble finding hard facts on Frost Strings, so I thought I'd open things up a bit. Let's see what the rumor mill has to say. Wait. The screen jumps and Winters reappears in different location. He's now clutching a mug of soy calf in both hands and there are bags under his eyes. We've, we've been here before, right? Well, that was enlightening, assuming that any of it was true, that is. So for the past five hours, I've been poking around some of the crazier fringe theories related to dragons and the SOX. As a reminder, the SOX is an irradiated wasteland between France and Germany. No, this was not there before. Okay. As a reminder, the SOX is an irradiated wasteland between France and Germany. It got zoned off back in 08 after the Continent GAU reactor meltdown. Anyway, there are all kinds of rumors floating around about the place. I've heard stories about a walled city in there that operates on a survival of the fittest, kill or be killed basis, sort of like a nightmare inversion of Berlin. All of the anarchy, but none of the stability that the F state provides. The radiation poisoning, cancer, and mana pollution are just the icing on the cake. So, when Adrian helped the Luftwaffe shoot Farswing down, she crashed into the SOX. That much is well known. What isn't as well known are all of the modern day myths that, that have arisen about her since. And tonight, I've heard an earful. I chatted up a girl who claimed to be a ghost rat. That's a smuggler that operates in the SOX. She told me about a dragon cult called the Disciples of the Cleaning Fire. Apparently, these cultists worship some sort of radioactive ghost dragon. Could be forcing, or it could be nothing, but it's worth digging into, all the same. Another thing that my little ghost rat told me. The popular rumor in the SOX is that Forstring's astral form was, I guess you'd say, mutated by all of that background radiation. Some of the glow punks out there say that she's shed her body like an old coat. Others say that she's trapped, doomed to languish as an intangible, radioactive ghost. I don't know how much credence to give any of this. After all, I don't have any proof that my ghost rat is even a ghost rat. She might be, but then she could also be a run-of-the-mill glow punk. Or maybe she's just yanking my chain and she's never been into the SOX at all. Who knows? Well, it's food for thought anyway. I don't know whether the thought of some radioactive ghost dragon thing is any scarier than a genuine dragon is, but it's interesting all the same. Now, the big question is, will any of this get me any closer to finding Adrian? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, but you never can tell. Very interesting. Play track two. Green goes black, then green, right, right, right. All right, let's continue thinking outside the box. After the dragon fall, the great dragon, Kaltenstein, came flying into the SOX to rescue the Firewing. But he was driven off, some say killed, by Lofer and Nibelheer. 
So, what if there's another dragon involved in all this? Winters grabs a thick, leather-bound tome from a shelf behind him, licks a finger, and begins to leaf through it. All right, so let's run down the list of major dragons that could be helping her. First, there's the Golden Worm. Loifor, the CEO of Sador Krupp, and quite possibly the single most dangerous being on Earth. Loifor is a local boy, so he'd be in position to help Farstring. He certainly has the financial capability to help her. He could send a small army into the SOX if he wanted to. So he's definitely got the means, but I can't see how he'd have the motive. He actively prevented the Firewing's rescue back in 2012, after, after all. Same thing is true for Nibhur. So let's scratch the both of them off the list. He flips a page, frowning. We've got Aiden, the great Suresh. He's operating out of Turkey. By all accounts, he's not a fan of Lofor. They're actively competing for territory in the Middle East. So I suppose that could be considered motive. Reviving the Firewing might cause problems for the Golden Worm, but would he risk a war with Sadar Krupp by straying into Lofor's territory? Again, I don't think it's likely. He turns another page. There's Siladir, out in Wales. He's pretty heavily invested in Transis Neuronet, so he's got the money, but he's too busy dealing with the BTL killer scandal that Transis is going through out in London to get his claws dirty in the SOX. Flip. Duncan's on, out in the UCAS. He pauses, shakes his head, then he slams the tome shut. No, this is a waste of time. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am. The Firewing is acting alone. Dragons don't cooperate unless they absolutely have to. After all, why bother making nice with your equals when you've got an entire planet full of pawns at your disposal? They don't need to work together. They have us to exploit. Winters leans forward and presses something off screen and the display goes black. A few seconds later, the main menu returns. Track 3. While this track does load, it's clearly corrupted. The screen fills with a meaningless stream of text. I bet this is not quite meaningless. Let's look at it. Hmm... Hmm. Okay. Track 4. This file is partially garbled. You can recognize a few words here and there, but they're interspaced amidst a solid block of corrupted text. There's Vauclair. Still my big brother. Still searching for Firewing. Swear to... I will find you. This is the last thing. <laughs> getting not getting any closer. Swear to new research. Turning up. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Five. This file's corrupted. The screen fills with meaningless assortment of ASCII characters. Mm-hmm. And six. The screen goes black, and the same digital chime that you heard on the Dragonfall DVD plays again. A crackle of static fills the air, followed by the same, now familiar electronic whine. A few moments later, the display goes live. Vauclair looks haggard. His eyes are heavily bagged and bloodshot, and his hair is must. Must? 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 He holds a cigarette in an unsteady hand. Hermie, it's me. I can't sleep. I don't know where you are. Out having fun, no doubt. Maybe flirting with one of those unattainable beauties that you're always chasing. He tries on a smile, but it quickly disappears. He takes a drag on his cigarette. That's good. I want you to live a pleasant, normal life. After all, one of us should. While Claire rubs his eyes, I... I can still smell the smoke, Hermie. It's almost a year later, and I can still taste the stench of burning corpses. When I sleep, I can hear the sirens and the screams. There's no sound in this world as horrible as a burn victim's screams. The doctors would call this PTSD, I'm sure. They'd have me in therapy, maybe dose me up on SSRIs, like they do to our veteran soldiers. He chuckles, then takes another drag. Quite a story for the tabloids. The dra great dragon slayer, Adrian Vinclair, mentally incapable of wrestling with his own demons. He shakes his head. No, no therapy for me, and certainly no medication. I have a reputation to live up to. However poorly deserved it is, and however little I want it. He pauses, stubs out his cigarette. The dragon is still alive, Hermie. 
Of that, I am certain. One day, I will find her, and then, perhaps, I'll be able to sleep through the night. The display goes black, and the background whine fades away. A moment later, you find yourself deposited back in the main menu screen. Eject the DVD. Hmm. Second power down. All right. What's up, Dante? Uh, pet him. There you go. You're a good boy. Yes, he is. Okay. You really came through for me, boss. You ever need anything from me? Anything at all, and you call on me. I'll come running. How's Alexander holding up? I'll be taking you up on that before this thing's over. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to have everything worked out to get house. He'll hold it up. He's a good kid, that nephew of mine. Give him some time, and he'll shake Stahl's programming. It might take a while, but he'll adjust to life here in the Cross Bazaar. In the meantime, I found a good home for him. Samuel's agreed to take him in. Samuel, Samuel. But the Samuel we did the job with? Is that why? Samuel's employees have no love for hum humanists. Most of them don't even like humans. He nods. Best thing for the kid will be to learn through immersion. If he stays with Samuel's group, he'll have no choice but to interact with metahumans. Soon enough, he'll learn that they're no different than anyone else. First few days will be rough, no question, but he'll make it through and come out the other side a better man for it. All right. Let's see if we can talk to Iger here. As you approach, Iger turns to face you. Her rifle has been filled, stripped, and is lying in pieces on a sheet of butcher paper. Arrived in a neat row along the edge of the paper are bottles of copper solvent, bore cleaner, and lighter fluid. Our fearless leader returns. What do you need? Any thoughts on that last run? After all the moral ambi ambiguity that we've been wading through, hitting Humanus was incredibly satisfying. What they had planned, it makes my blood boil just thinking about it. I agree with you there. Are we good now? Depends on what you mean when you say good. I won't question your competence again, not in front of the others at least, but I'm not going to lie, I still have concerns about you. Uh, concerns are between, between you and me? We'll be fine. What kind of concerns? Basic ones, I don't want to see history repeat itself. Make your mind, Gagger. Said you don't blame me for Monica's death. I don't. That's not the history I was talking about. And before you ask, no, I don't feel like I'm going into it. Uh, I'll come back to clean my rifle. KSK. No, I'm not the habit of sharing war stories, Jack. Not with people who've never served. What, you think that I wouldn't understand? It doesn't have to be a war story. I just want a better idea of who I'm running with. Looks at you in the eye for a moment, evaluating, finally shrugs. All right, Jack, you win. I owe everything to my time in the KSK, from my street name on down. So, you tell me what you want to know, and we'll see where this goes. Ooh, I like my lore. Tell me about how you got the street name. Back when I was a basic trainee, a fellow recruit made a vulgar joke at my expense. He said that I reminded him of the north face of the Eiger in the Bernese Alps. Huge and beautiful, but dangerous to climb. His tone left little doubt as to what sort of climbing he had in mind. I think that he was trying to proposition me in his clumsy way, poking me in front of the other recruits to try to provoke a reaction. She shrugs. Anyway, he got one. I broke three of his ribs, and the name stuck. Haha. <laughs> Served him right. I could regard you with a critical eye. You might actually mean that, but then you may just be trying to get on my good side. You wouldn't use a line that bad deserves to get smacked around a little. Don't flatter yourself. I couldn't care less whether you like me or not. She nods. Good. That's the right attitude. But be careful not to take it too far. You may not need your team's approval, but you do need its respect. Out in the field, nothing will kill you faster than losing the respect of your team. Oh, logic, I shouldn't. I should have broken your ribs after Monica died. In your place? I would have. She looks you up and down, appraising you. Not that you'd have succeeded if you tried, but in terms of saving face, it would have done wonders. In all seriousness, Jack, I'm sorry that I put you in that position. I shouldn't have, and I acknowledge that. Anything else? Tell me about your team. Who was like, what happened to the team? What happened to the team? No, no. That's one story that I won't be telling. They died. That's all that you need to know. Who was in command? Metzger, best leader I've ever had the pleasure of serving under, her face clouds. He was one hell of a man. But he went down with the rest of the team, everyone but me. Tell me about your team. 
She nods. Fair enough. I guess you've earned it. There were eight of us, two commando squads, working together as a single unit. Schmidt and Lang were combat deckers. Wolf was our rigor and combat engineer. Weischer handled demolitions. Braun was a medic, and the rest of us, Meitger, Kruger, and myself, were weapons experts. Our mission was extraterritorial, technically illegal, but important enough to justify the risk. We'd been sent across the border into Poland. The Russian mafia had set up a cottage industry and human trafficking all along the older Ness line, and it was our job to disrupt it. Go on. We were a good team, experienced, we went through a lot together, and we chalked up a lot of kills, in our own way. I'd like to think that we did some good. Thanks, Tiger. Was there some- no more questions, thank you. She turns back to dismal components for rifle, sure thing, fearless leader, good talk. I keep getting this sarcasm thing from that fearless leader thing. What do you need? How are you holding? I have a question for you. Uh, you know what, we'll just do nothing now. Do, 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 do. All right. So we're going to end this episode here, and in the next one, I'm sure we will grab another job, and we will do another run. And that's the whole point. We need to get some money up in, uh, for our, let's see, raise, how much money do we have right now? We have, like, oh, these are mission items, All right? Oh, yes, we have some more karma to put out, but we'll we'll do that in the next episode as well. Let's see, what are we on? Do, 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 do. Alice Fund. Up to current, wait. Hmm. He's supposed to deposit money. We're supposed to be up to 25000 which would put us at halfway there. Yep. Yes, it would. Okay. But, yes, next episode, etc. Thanks so much for hanging out. Great story. I'm going to move on in it, the next one. And until then, have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.